Evening, ladybugs and yellow jackets. Oh, they're so cute every time. Welcome to this week's episode of Fay News here on Fay Productions. I am your host, Fairy Princess Lolly. Nobody has names up right now, but I think I can solve that problem. <laughs> there we are. Um, and <laughs> right. And tonight I am here with Shimmer Fay and Rain Wolf. Say hello. Hello. Professor Greenman. Who is? discombobulated uh i oh my goodness i on the leprechaun and belly belly cat <laughs> and several belly, mode. not very talkative <laughs> hey it's the phoenix it, it is and look at your background is wicked <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank yeah you. Yeah, no, I, I was like, "Do they see me?" And then you went to live. I was like, "I'm still in the background." You're, you're also, you're also very, you're also very, very small. I, yeah, I chose are. to do so to present background. Yes, your back, your background is pretty amazing. So I'm glad to see that you've made it out of the closet finally. Yes, yeah, I'm no longer in the closet. Um, the echoing is a little better in this much larger room. So you know, hey, good oh, upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> uh and hello oh oh yeah the rainbow beard that yep. that's yep. on you buddy <laughs> where is the rainbow beard the rainbow beard will be at fairy blossom when the income is a little more available uh that's, mm -hmm. a, that's like two months away oh no yeah but i mean that's a lot sooner than you know three all months. right everybody <laughs> uh first It'll get done first. when it gets done before before we get uh, too distracted with everything, um, please I will like, keep subscribe, my and pie the bell because tomorrow is pie day. Okay, who, day. Can, who day. can name the? Okay, Ion, you don't get to participate in this. <laughs> who can name <laughs> <laughs> the most digits in pie? I can name the person who can name the most digits in pie. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay, I, I, can, I can name. I can name that a pie typically is cut into eight pieces. Does that mm -hmm. count? Mm -hmm. Actually, the only part of when it belonged to little Jack Horner. Uh, who sat in a quarter? Mm -hmm. Eating his pie, yes. He did okay. stick in his thumb, which is a digit. I call that a plow. No, so you can name one digit. <laughs> <laughs> and technically, is, isn't your thumb not a digit? Isn't it only your fingers that are digits? It's no, they're all digits. Are they? Are they? But but the thumb is not technically considered a finger. So when you hold up your hand, you're technically only holding up five fingers or three fingers, four fingers <laughs> and a thumb. Four. Everyone on the show can math. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> You are filled with I'm lies. no good with one, but it's uh, not after 8.30. <laughs> These freaking guys work. Oh, lies can always oh, happen before 8.30. It's just other things can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You, you, not everybody on this show can nap. I know Although, I'm telling you, I'm, I am not <laughs> lying. I will do the rainbow beard. I promised, and I do not lie. Well, we're fake creatures, of course we do. But in that in that moment, that was an honest statement. It will be done. He 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 did technically do it properly as a fay. He's going to do it, just not now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but you know, you know, okay. you, anyone remember a certain uh, gray wizard that mentioned arriving when they precisely mean to? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's like that with beard. Two six that comes after that ion. It's three point one four one five. I know that for sure. And then is it We're nine two six? What? what? Nine two six. Nine two six. I was close. <laughs> I missed I missed one number. Uh, who's who is Facebook user? Facebook user, where what's your name? <laughs> it's a, it's only showing me Facebook user. It's not handy. Let's see. I am up. Facebook user. Dun dun dun. You said that, and all I heard in my head was Ozzy. Facebook user is actually three cherry pies stacked on top of each other. She dumb and frozen. Yeah, you were no. frozen. What would you say? I said, I am Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I just heard, I am Iron Man. Uh, yeah. Good okay. song. Good song. It, I mean, it is a good song. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So, okay. Thank you, everybody, for um, going and doing all the like, subscribe, bell thing. Uh, we, I, I have a big agenda tonight, but also... I don't know how long I can hang in here. I'm really very tired. It's my chemo week and I've had chemo today and yesterday. I'm super tired, but I'm gonna gonna do as much as I can here. And Phoenix, if I had known you were gonna be on the show, I would have given you the agenda so that you could shout things at people on my behalf. I mean, it's probably a good thing you didn't because I got here right from a party and I didn't know if I was gonna make it in time. Oh my God, really? <laughs> and so... Oh my gosh, Lady Ash! You yes, it is. Beautiful. Oh, you are pretty. Like, yeah, that is a large. Year. That's look, a fantastic. Let's say, look at her background. Yeah, Ooh, yeah we all that's did different fantastic. Backgrounds. Everybody has upgraded today. I think pretty soon we'll all be upgrading around here too. We're moving into a new place uh, over the next couple of weeks, so our world is going to be crazy. It, it is. I'm really excited. Uh, you still haven't cool. sent me photos. She posted them on the book of faces. I, I did oh, post, them. I, did I post some of them in the hedge, also on Discord. I don't know. It has a little stream on it, and it has a little raised uh, garden area okay. in the backyard, which is enormous. And the front yard is big enough that we, you know, I'll have to mow it, which I like to mow the grass, so I'm very good with that. But uh, I'm really excited to be moving into a house. And this last week, this last week, we. Uh, painted it and painted the living room and i painted my own room it's pink and gold agenda oh the agenda okay it's not a yes, hey, big one <laughs> yes okay the agenda okay first things first on the agenda we have a huge list of new patrons to welcome so i just wanted to welcome uh yeah i know very cool uh welcome all of our new patrons uh by by name to the show and if you want to know how to become a patron, there it is going for you in the low bar, the ticker. It's the information's in the low bar. It's going in the ticker. But I, uh, Lux Capas and Miranda Downey and Chris Fred, all welcome to the Wild Fay. And Jacqueline Delisle and Star LaBelle, welcome to the Trooping Fay. And Chris Conrad, Alyssa Silk, and Gail Holmes, welcome to the Gentry. Like so, yeah, like a lot of a lot of new people. I'm really excited about that. And, uh, uh, Welcome to all of the Hokum and Flummery. Yes. All right. Define ho uh, define it's Hokum and Flummery. Begun. Hokum. Uh, and of course, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> and flummery. Uh. Just general nonsense. <laughs> nonsense and general nonsense. Oh, if it's all the most important yeah. nonsense. Is, mm. is there, is is there general a nonsense? There? Is the nonsense you salute? <laughs> this is the nonsense. That's that's flummery. And if you don't salute it, then it's just hokum. Is that yes. <laughs> I see. I see how that is. I require okay. more flummery. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, if you refuse. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, man. Oh, yay. Okay. Ooh, I'm so hot. Okay, here we go. So, yeah. <laughs> So hot, I know. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> okay, all of you just shut up. Look, I'm trying to give a shout out to today's show sponsor, which is Cultivation Games. Thank you so much for being one of our patrons and Fairy Night Market vendors. Uh, also a vendor at the Fairy Apothecary. So we have amazing dice from them. And Cultivation Games has all the geeky gaming paraphernalia you could ask for unusual dice and their related accessories, enamel pens, jewelry, and much more. Join the cult. So remember the cult leader is always right. There's some meme going around that I've seen about how to tell 
uh, how to tell whether or not you're in a cult. <laughs> But, so um, I think that that was what I remember of rule number one, the cult leader is always right. <laughs> the question well, is, I saw something the other day was, are cult? you an NPC? Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I am an NPC. What have I been doing with my life? Ion, tuck your camera to your right and let your hat block the light behind you. I want to see if that stops washing you out. Yes, it does if you block the light. You, you just need to like adjust your, set, get your phone up higher is what you need to do so that it's more at eye level. Mm -hmm. Does this mean it would be a ion eclipse? It would be. Oh, it would be. Mm -hmm. Do it, ion uh, I, I, eclipse. I, I, eclipse. Science. Oops. Okay, you guys. Uh, so next thing on the agenda, so many things. So I wanted to go over the poster artist winners. We, as you know, the last couple of weeks, we had our all call for artists yes. to submit their portfolios and then everybody got to vote and we now have the winners. And so I really um, wanted to, I wanted to start first by uh, explaining once what our illustrious illustrator <laughs> indeed. Um, so first of all, the, this, the voting process for this is not to rule people out, but to order them in order of first place and then just going down the list until we no longer have any more posters that need illustrating. The first place first person gets to, gets first choice of which event they want to illustrate. Second place person gets second choice of what event they want to illustrate and so on and so forth until we are out of events. So uh, as of now, we have we had eight entrants and six people were ranked. So I wanted to kind of go down the list and I just wanted to share with you guys basically their um, control click to follow the link. I wanted to share with you their various portfolios so you could see um, the artists that we're looking at working at uh, working with this year. And the first, let me grab my little grab a little share screen and our first one is nicole petrakovich and nicole came in sixth place <clears throat> and so this is some of their poster illustration you guys can see this i hope Not yes this. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah so i just kind of wanted to you know take a look at some of their art everybody was required to turn in you know their <clears throat> various uh links and whatnot I don't, I think this is a, I don't know what this is, whatever. It said, I said next thing, but. Previous project, let's see. Good boy. Really? Yeah. You're so, so cute. Kind of their, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of their character, <laughs> an example of their character drawings. It kind of looks like Cruella de Vil. I was thinking the same thing. I was just thinking her lashes are very spidery. I love the other one, though. It was so cute and adorable. I, I, it's oh, look at that a, one. It's like a monster. That's cool. It's also, I forgot the name of the, the Linus, but it kind of also gives me some of that, uh, the one from Tangled. Mm. Uh, whatever her name was. Mother I could see that. Absolutely right. Mother, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh boy, this is, this one is a little bit. Coffee. You hit that. A little uh, risque before, no, a little uh, after it's not, 8.30. It's just that, no, it's not. It's just that their link for sharing is Facebook, and I don't necessarily want to share my Facebook. So let me see if I can mm. open uh that our our fifth place person is Raz Paling and I I just if I sh if in order to share on Facebook I have to like actually share That's my cool. Facebook present my Facebook page and let's see there we go this, so what this, if you you got it 
Pretty please. <laughs> so I'm just kind of clicking through some of their art here. That's cool looking. That's awesome. Yeah, the weird like <laughs> the background is actually what do you call that? The the mathematics it does the weird background. Something. Oh, that's trippy. I know, it is trippy. That's cool looking. A lot of them are cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, I like that, that one awesome. a lot. Mm -hmm. Aww. Ooh. It makes me feel like I'm spiraling down in my, in my I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that, and then I also hear like Zoolander, like relax, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's kind of cool because it's almost like looking at a, a picture of your bones, you know, but it's a flower, like an x-ray. It looks like an x-ray of a flower. That one's pretty. Oh, that one's awesome. I like that one. That is oh the little the little That's Yep. I I kinda want that as a picture to hang on the wall. Who's grand control to major Tom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rocket Man. Mm -hmm. Bad up there. Okay. Whoa. Uh you can probably yeah, I know, right? Wow. Oh, that one's cool. I really like that. That makes me one. think. That one makes me think of smoke. It does kind of have that effect. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Scully, scully, scully. <laughs> Where's Balter? Uh, is it a parabola? Is that what I'm thinking of? That does the funky background like that? Nope. Uh, para you think of a fractal? Hi, hi, is it a parabola and hyperbola, or one of them goes up and one of them goes down? No. Well, uh, oh, that's nice. I like that. I, I, I don't get to see the images clearly enough to know, but I, it sounded like you were talking about fractals before. Um, no, it's when you, it's no, it's not a fractal. For me, it almost reminded me of like, uh, like when you look at like a three D graph of like a geographical area. Yes, mm -hmm. and, but, and it's like wavy. But the topographical. Does that sound right? But topographical. It, but it, I think yes, if it's maybe, a map. Yeah. But this is not a map. This is what you see when you're looking at like um, in mathematics. You know, you you have a, a graph right that's a 3d graph so it goes in it goes in x y and z dimensions and it has the waves and whatever mm -hmm. so I uh, they're membranes then membranes what <laughs> mathematical membranes no sounds legit to me we'll go with ion mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but that's that's not what it is so, and I just looked it up to verify that that is in fact not what I am talking about. <laughs> because nobody will ever believe me unless I actually look up proof for literally every single thing I do or say. So, okay. Welcome uh, to the internet. So our fourth place person is uh, Geo. Uh, from Geo Bean from Geo Art Shop, who is one of our Fairy Night Market vendors and also a patron, um, a Patreon patron. And so let me get my share button again. Very cool art. We're going to actually buy a piece that we saw from them at the last market, I think. Let's see. I actually have two of her little tiny paintings at my house right now. Yeah. So this is their art, and I wonder if I can like. Stain Ooh, that. I love the koi fish. That's awesome. I'm trying to enlarge them, but it's not letting me enlarge. So I guess we just have to look at them on. Mm, look at them small. 
Kind of odd that it won't let me enlarge. I would have thought that. Mm, I that's... love the stare. The gentle wound. Ooh, Bumblebee guitar is awesome. Yeah, Bumblebee guitar is awesome. I, th I, I it's did probably really Honeybee, not there. Bumblebee, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they got the uh, man picture of Mantis Shrimp. This one, perhaps. That's what it's called. Let's see. I wonder if they have. Wow, my artwork. What do we do? Oh, this is the one that we want to buy. Sea turtle. Oh, the the queen Coraline one. Mm -hmm. The other other mother. Yeah, uh, we really like that one. I feel like there needs to be one extra finger down here. <laughs> <laughs> to make it more uncanny. Yes. That's a cool stained glass dragon. Oh, it's a four leaf. That's cool. Four leaf tay back. I actually have oh, two four leaf covers. <gasps> what? Oh my god, that's so pretty. 30 bucks? That's not bad. Look at its name. Panic. <laughs> now it's for me. It is for you. It is your destiny. It's a bat. Oh, that's such a happy oh, little, little guy. Bat. I'm a bat. I'm a bat. I'm a bat. I'm a bat. Oh, that's cool. I want to I'm eat sorry. them all. <laughs> I just ate. I don't awesome. need to see Pop Tarts. <laughs> tart art. We'll call tart that art. tart art. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until after 8:30, you'll see more tart art. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is cute. <laughs> I really like that. He looks so happy getting a tea bag. I know. Tea. Wait, getting a tea bag or a tea bath? Bath. Tea bath. <laughs> bath. Bag, tea bag would definitely be after 8 30. Yes. <laughs> 30 minutes to go. 30 minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love the name of that one. No touchy. No touchy. Canvas. No touchy. <laughs> no touchy. <laughs> Specifically because of <laughs> that, that, that octopus, that particular it's, style of octopus. Yeah, the blue ring oh, octopus is poisonous. Oh. Is he just in the stars? That's so cool. Yep. Just oh my it. god, there's a turtle. Go back up. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I saw mushroom butt. That's adorable. <laughs> uh, I have this one on my I have this one on my laptop. I got the sticker and put it on my laptop. <laughs> Someone needs to get I, that for Almanito. She I would did. flip. Oh, you did? did? Yay! Okay. I did. I bought the little, like, it's like a two inch by two inch canvas or something. Oh, that's that's cool. awesome. I like that one. Ooh. Oh, Luna Moth. Mm -hmm. I like that other one. I really like potato. I really, oh, no, pink dragon on a cupcake. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, Cuppy, cakey, draggy. No. Just really like. I pizza. just really like potato. <laughs> oh, hey. As you should. I don't trust people that don't like potatoes. <laughs> They're delicious in so many different ways. I was going to say, yep. <laughs> so many different ways. Hash browns, hands down. Boil them up, mash them, put them in a stew. Potato, potato. You take your one. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one's cool, like stained glass Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. That that's what we call Cthulhu. 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 Oh, look at the What? I, I, like that. Cool. I like the black and white koi paper one or the koi fish. Mm -hmm. uh, look at the little guys. Oh my Dox goodness. Like, uh, I guess that probably we could just keep, like, looking at these forever. Oh, we could. I am Groot. I see one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move on because I'm like, oh, no. I'm looking at so many. So our third place winner is Penelope Pendragon, the Wish Fairy. And let's see. Can you guys? Wish Fairy. I love you so much. Yes. Can't wait to see you again. Uh, Penelope will be up here actually. We're and uh, we're work I'm working with them to possibly be doing uh, having a presence at 
Unknown Realms um, in July, July, the first weekend of July, I think. So this is some of their artwork and Penelope does art what? painting teaching. Oh. Yeah. She is very talented. So pretty. Wow. I really want us all to make a massive road trip down to the Vegas Ren Fair. You said in October? Yep. I think it's second weekend of October. We can do it. Let's do it. October is my birth month, so I'm just making my birthday my birthday to myself. <laughs> and a happy oh, new year. That's really little pretty. Snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the no. frozen lake. That's awesome. Ooh. Oh, it's a fairy house. Mm. Aww. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, look at the little birds. Hey. <laughs> the love birds. What is Ohana oh, mean? Ohana. Family. Oh, ohana means family. In what language? Uh, Hawaiian. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Lilo and Stitch, come on now. I haven't seen it. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm unsubscribing right now. Unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things to lose a subscriber, oh, over. Right. <laughs> like, that's it. You haven't. That's it. Done. <laughs> you, you I'm done. Right I'm done. Right I'm done. The fish. I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You, you can't. You can't hold things while he hasn't seen again, Uh I don't know. Some people, some people have done it quite a lot. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's a cool. Oh, I like the perspective on that one. Yeah, me too. Like looking up through the trees like that. Like you're like literally yeah. laying down in the valley in the middle of the fair forest. forest. Yeah. Yep. Forest. The birches seem dreamland. Don't account of that frosty. I love all the curly swirls. I have no idea. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna stop this. And so congratulations, Penelope, third place. Our second place person is Han Beck, who has done an enormous amount of work for us uh, in the past and currently. So very cool. Uh, let me get my little share button again. Congratulations, Han. I saw you out there actually in the comments earlier and i'm gonna pull up your instagram yeah did we got it got it all right i want to go here we go sweet centaur oh, yeah. it is. <clears throat> a gin Ooh. is that a Wait, this is, try it to figure that out. My rock shot, rock shot, rock shot, Yeah. Oh, uh, shoddy, don't like it. Rock the Casbah. This was one of our um, Kickstarter backers. One of the portraits for one of the Kickstarter backers. That's cool. Yes. Um, that looks Han like a D&D group. It does look like a D&D &D group. Han is actually working on making the card art for the Magic Wand dueling game for us. Ooh, yay. No, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's trippy. Is. Oh, it's like a... It's, it's, it's like a... It's a horse fly. Yeah, but mm -hmm. kind of like a skeleton one or something. I don't the know. head makes me think of like a horn beetle. <laughs> my own homebrew critter. This is a Vespicorn. Vespicorn. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's terrifying. No, thank you. <laughs> it is no, thank terrifying. you. That's too much. <laughs> that's too much. Yeah. Oh, that's a really nice invention. I cast Fireball. <laughs> what is plasters? I don't know. I assume it's the name of that Pokemon, the, the nickname that they made for that Pokemon. Oh, gotcha. 
Mm -hmm. Also, one of our portraits for uh, backer portraits. We have to get yours finished up, Lady Ash. Oh, that's so cool. I know. It's an owl bear. It's adorable. I want to cuddle it. <laughs> I like it. The, very nice. This is super photorealistic. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're frog people. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you know, frog people in the water, but uh, oh, okay, this is funny. Hooray, Lunar Mansions. Give yes, we know them. What did it fall out of? I can't tell. Me either. That's Let's a toilet. Let's see. If you that that elf whale was falling out of a toilet. Ooh, that's a wicked one. Look at that. Finished up a tiefling struggling. Their demonic patrons demands for sacrifice. And you just happen to be in range. Ooh. Tight weave. That's probably some heavy pain metal. Put me out. I know. I love it. Oh, it's more of that Rock Sasha character there. That's cool. Hanacorn. Oh, no. Oh, I cuddle that too. Nice. Mm -hmm. Gold dragon. <laughs> the golden dragon there. Is that for isn't it? Oh, that's a cool picture. Art of my own character, Tobias Fella Sanders, for an online Red Dead Redemption 2RP server. I'm not sure what all those words mean. It's a video oh. game about the West. And RP Wild server West. means it, an RP server means it's basically kind of like a chat room where they're just role playing. Mm, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now that's that, really pretty. I yeah. love I love that one. What? That's cool. That's probably like the fifth I love you one I've said this whole thing. So <laughs> I know, right? Like how many times I've been like, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? That's cool. Oh, I thought that was a centaur for a centaur like creature for a sec. Yeah, I did too. No, but just you pants. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a big just no one would dress. Yeah. Oh, that one's cool looking. Ooh, I like that, I like that a lot. One. It's, it's like a, almost like dryad type thing. I don't know. A series of commissioned flats depicting an insectoid D and D race called the Verdant. The commissioner has hmm. named the three subtypes: the queen, the king, and the sovereign. That is amazing. All right, I'm gonna go Is that on. Is sapien? I don't know. It says the the alien thing. That was um, definitely Abe sapien. It yeah, looked like Abe Hellboy. sapien from Hellboy. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it is. It, totally it says was. Hellboy in the yeah comments. And then last but not least, I guess technically first is Ray Commissions, and they did our Fairy Blossom poster for last year. Last year? Yeah, right. Yes. And so let me pull up my little share screen again, and we will look at their Instagram. So this was last year's Fairy Blossom poster, the fairy from the Fairy Blossom poster. Mm -hmm. And I have a little, I, I have our uh, little reveal for this year's poster actually coming up, but I'm going to start at the beginning. So this is just going to go through and look at some of their art. I really like this one actually, because it's got that bizarre surrealism to it that I like. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the hooves are hands. Well, and the way that it's, uh 
like it's kind of got the earth chained to it those earth islands <clears throat> chained to it. it reminds me of an artist mm -hmm. uh zeta mac i don't know exactly how it's pronounced. it's not an, an english name obviously but i think it's pronounced zeta mac uh, it also reminds me a little bit of salvador dali um oh well, and it begs yeah. the questions, are the cities uh, keeping that thing chained so that it can't be set free? Or is it by those things helping it float that it's able to stand and walk? Because it, so many questions, so many unanswered questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing its job as art. <laughs> True. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh my boy. It's mine. Oh mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shop and take my money. It's a juniper fairy. Aww. Oh, it says Aww. winter. No but... flake wings. Yeah. But it also looks like juniper berries. There it does. It's ju fairy, juniper berry, winter art watercolor. The That's watercolor? Color. I almost thought it was colored pencil. Uh it says watercolor. <laughs> Maybe yeah. watercolor pencils though. I was going to say, yeah, they do have those colored pencils where you can, like, shade in where you want and then go back over with a wet uh, wet brush, and then it fills in the watercolor for you. Oh, oh yeah, cool. I've seen those. Ooh. It says, the princess, no one fought for. Fought for. Oh, That's sad. She looks very sad about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, imagine. Be not afraid. No, I am afraid. This looks like something out of the Book of Revelations. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why I said the be true, not afraid. <laughs> the true depictions of angels. Yeah. <laughs> Six wings no, and many, you. many eyes. <laughs> I I love how they made the face indistinct, so you you're not sure if that's horrifying. Or terrifying. Yeah. This you is my happy it. face. <laughs> <laughs> I am smiling. <laughs> oh, but also I'm watching you. Oh jeez, yeah. It's really cool about the wings because the one side's just feathered wings and the others are just melting. Stuff. I yeah. don't know what they melt, are. melt wings. They're melting, but they have eyeballs in them. It's... Wings made of cheese. They are melting. <laughs> nacho wings. Nacho wings. Oh, <laughs> these are nacho <laughs> wings. <laughs> oh. Ooh. You like? Ooh, look that one. That one's cool. Oh, wow. oh, I like her hair. I like the like tattoo or crystal that seems to be growing on the side of her neck. Here, yeah. That's amazing. Do, do cheese wings help you fly on the breeze? Oh, <laughs> yes, they do. No. <laughs> Get out. Maybe, but only if you're trying to escape from monsters. Oh. <laughs> I'm not having, I'm not harvarding any of that. <laughs> That's my you favorite. You me. You ain't hanging out anymore. What? <laughs> These are good ideas. Listen, <laughs> just twist topics, okay? <laughs> Let, let's not fed about this, okay? <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's giving me okay. some like... Uh, yeah. Uh, sick thought could devour the bodies, flex more than fever or consumption. She's biting her head in half. It says, yeah, the it's sick thought like... can devour the body's flesh more than fever or consumption. Wow. Mm, it was kind of make it was kind of making me think of a weird kind of Fenris ver version of Fenris too. Mm. Hello, dude. You could tell I'm from the '80s. Well, somebody <laughs> seems to be on the cusp of, uh, it looks like the cusp of Leo and, is that Pisces? Yeah. Uh, no, Gemini is the 69, right? Isn't that oh, right? Oh, yeah. That is the... I don't yes, know. no, that, you're right. Gemini is, or is that Cancer? If Sergeant uh... Pepper was an anime shoujin. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so, cancer is Peppa? 69. Cancer is 69. It's Cancer. Okay, so Cusp of Leo and Cancer. Nice. Okay. What's Gemini? Oh, Gemini looks like a, like the Roman numeral 2. Oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what? Oh. That's right. a lot. Sorry. It is. Poured... Someone, someone is not happy about love right now. <laughs> I have poured my heart that out like and be a I am empty. That okay. would make a wick. That would make a wicked Ace of Swords. Wow. That's, mm -hmm. cool. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Hello, we're here to talk to you about your car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh. a car? Inside a mushroom ring. Uh oh, that's how you get kidnapped. Oh, hello. Uh oh, I don't want to get it turned off. No. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the close button entirely. We like, were oh, so no. close. We were literally 11 minutes away, everybody. Come on. <laughs> but I don't have enough to pay for the car insurance. <laughs> oh, she. Whoa. whoa. We do accept your firstborn as down payment. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? Are those like. That's trippy. I don't know. The... It says final piece in this series. Uh, full. Floral, Florian, I don't know. Original characters drawing pencil art. The, uh, mm -hmm. the vampire oh, girl that ate somebody. The... I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like Adora that. Bell Deerheart. Who's Adora Bell Deerheart? Probably your original character. Going post Discworld. So Neil Gaiman. That is Discworld, right? I think that's Terry Pratchett. Oh, Terry Pratchett, you're right. Uh, it's been 86 years since I drew something for fun. I'm Jon Snow. I a very Jon Snow? That's it, a, that's a very androgyn androgynous Jon Snow. Yeah, it is. Look at the size of their swords. My God. Uh, more like, look at the guy's jaw <laughs> hanging out. Oh. <laughs> That's his tongue. That's a tongue, Holy yeah. Shit. Holy crap. <laughs> Loving this work. Commissioned by uh, Floralia, Floralia Norama on Twitter. Designs belong to them. Artwork by me. I like the handle. It's like a giant tree. Yeah, it is cool. That mouth is creepily <laughs> wide. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. That's a pretty nifty sword. Not going to yeah. lie. Oh, this one's cool. Be that weird afraid. thing around the face that's filled with eyeballs. Mm-hmm. I've seen a, I think seen a cosplayer make a uh, basically an outfit with a very similar head type setup. Yeah. And surprisingly, they made a bunch of the eyes on the rings able to open and close. Don't know how they did it. It still looks creepy. Cosplay magic. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Hello, I'm neither the dashing hero or the villain. It's your choice. Because it depends on what side of the river you're on. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Depends whether the horse or the man. out of the pedals. That's pretty awesome. I like the contrast with the headpiece and the necklace. Mm -hmm. The the bodice makes me think that looks like it's supposed to be like either stone or bone. The bodice to me looks like magical armor. <laughs> Like chitness, kind of. <laughs> like the kind of the kind of armor that you see on chicks, you know, like Boris Vallejo or something, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has the, the same defensive stats as yours. It's fine. <laughs> the triangle is this big and it magically stays in place somehow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... Oh man, should we? I, I want to just like keep looking. They're all so cool. No, they're so cool. I'm I don't think really it ever oh, ends. What? Wow. <laughs> yeah, cool. this this is definitely a rabbit hole. We could be we could be here for the rest of the evening. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't actually reached out to the artists yet. I'm showing everybody here on the show first, and then I will probably. Ooh, totally. hmm. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, is that is that a is that a giant or are those like dandelions? I don't know. It says commission for star-eyed dragonfly hmm. of his OC of his out of character attack. Uh, thanks for the commission. Oh, a tiefling, so not a giant. Mm -hmm. OC original character. Yep. OC. Oh, original, no, character. original character. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's happening? With this? Oh, what? Oh, what's happening with it all together? It's like mel it's melting. Another There's commission. Like I think it's also made of cheese. It's like 15 things going on, going on right now. This would the be the cheese galaxy. This would be oh, the world. Oh, wow. that's cool. Um, oh, wow. This is awesome. Oh, I love so pretty. I love sleeves and gloves that do this pointed business at the hand without yeah. having the little thing that goes over the middle finger. I just like it when they just come down, and that's how they are. Look at I the detail want... to that headdress, too. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. I would have loved. I would love to see somebody just <laughs> just by what they choose color. <laughs> um. Oh, that one's so cool. Wow. Uh, it's not straight thirty. Yeah, it's. it's, it's it's a little oh, risque. Oh, boobies. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> it's a oh. little risque. <laughs> I didn't even notice them. I was too busy looking at all the melting, okay? And then <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not. And so. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were close. That was 824. <laughs> we're getting closer. We keep getting um, flashed. Closer. Closer, please. Oh, oh no, there's a booby there. Damn it. That was cool looking. Don't I like show the that. melting titties. That, would that be, is that awesome. Would be something, what? That would be something cool, something cool to make. Exactly. Except Amanita need to make a parasol like that. We're waiting mm -hmm. for Amanita to get the our our building monster, and also they have to draw their pin. They're supposed to get the first pin on our pin maker. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the cutest. Someone is slacking. <laughs> I really oh, that love is cool. this one. I I don't know something about that. The one. wings are awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Look at the shading. That's what I think is really well done too. Is the shading. Mm. Wow. Oh, booby. Oh, uh, there's, there's a, yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. I mean, if, if we want to be honest, it is very tastefully done, okay? <laughs> that is true. I don't think that's the, the, it's the just problem. It's so cute. That mm -hmm. little mousy thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm just, uh, they see me scrolling. <laughs> oh, we're getting into more boobs. No boobs. No. All right. Just like I'm in gonna... my college years. It's getting more and more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> that fits too. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Whew. Yes. So. All of it, so good. Everybody's art is so good. I'm so excited to like then have everybody start picking their posters to do this oh, couple so things. Sad. So, yeah, Beltane is the one that we need coming up first, like in May. I'm, I'm trying, trying to get it scheduled on the books, you guys. I put in a call the last two days to the place and. They never answer their phone. I have to leave a voicemail, and then they call me back, and then I don't. I miss their call, and this has been not just waiting by your phone and doing nothing but waiting for their return phone call. Weird. Yes, I, I, How could you not be prepared? Ugh. <laughs> it's almost like you have a life or something. Yeah, a very busy one. 
Uh, yeah. So let's see. What do I have? Uh, what do I have here next? So congratulations to everybody there. The poster reveal. Let's do that. So Susan Schroeder is our poster artist for Fairy Blossom this year. And I think I showed you guys the coloring, um, the black and white coloring drawing. And mm. now we have the finished piece that has all of the things in it and it's colored in and it's so beautiful and this is it wow oh my goodness Ooh. yeah it really is there we go and it's kind of got the i i want to say like the muka style to it i believe is, is what that's called but um and you can see like here here's the little mouse with the blueberry and then like um, the bluebells are all in there and all of our wisteria up top. So I basically now just have to fill in the words for the poster and then up on up will go the application forms for our vendors. And we've, I've already been talking to some performers about um, um, things on the schedule. So that is looking promising as well. And uh, I don't know. It's just really beautiful. I'm very excited. So and, I love that raccoon. That's adorable. I know. Look there's the all detail to him. Yeah. There's all these little things. That, like if you look just like if your eyes just go straight down from the raccoon, you can kind of see that there's a tiny little fairy sleeping on the moss there. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Like, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wow. there's all these little all these little guys hidden in there. So little guys. So happy. <laughs> Oh, let's see. What am I trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do. And uh, that is our. There's our, a. Mm -hmm. I think there's a butterfly just above the scroll. There it looks like it's sitting on it. In the right I think it's a side. Snail. I from think it's my a view. Snail. Mm -hmm. yeah. snail. It looks like a snail. I wonder if I can actually open this and make it a little bit bigger. Let me see here. Like the Adventure Time snail that they snuck into like every single. Thing. Mm. Make uh, it bigger. I'm trying. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let me get the share screen. No, let's try and this. Is that better? Mm. Oh, it is a butterfly. You're right. Can you see it? Can you guys see it better? Yeah, if you hit zoom. Oh, there we Whoa. go. Well, I saw it for a second. Yeah, see? Ha. Yeah. Look at how much more detail you can see, too, when you zoom in like this. This is awesome. Oh, oh look God. at all the all lines the on the butterfly. All the individual leaves and everything. Holy mm -hmm. snakies. And you know what I think is cool? I always think this is a cool effect in art and in sculpture especially, but see how you can see the leg through the the sheer of the dress that she's wearing. I always think it's cool when fabric is made to look sheer because it's obviously not, right? It's all just two dimensional. And so, but it looks that way. And I just think that's a cool effect. There's a miniature painter I follow that did that with a figure that also had a veil on its face that looked like the wind was blowing it into the face. So, it was yeah, just so he painted it how it's so sheer and stuff and it was just oh god that's so good i hope to be that level one day there's a raccoon and it's looking right at you I know. With a little trash pan in the hands <laughs> actually actually out of the animals it's the raccoon the the mouse in the lower right and the rabbit that rabbit looks pissed <laughs> Probably because the raccoon got all the trash. Yeah. Probably we'll need carrots for the rabbit. Listen, that's my that's my baby rabbit right there. Right. You what if you got what do y'all got into my burrow and messed with all my things and I am not happy about it? I just love this back. guy right here. Like he's so cute. He's like, I'm having a oh, snack. Maybe that's why Wait, he's pissed. He's that, like, why do you you took all my food, bro? <laughs> he's got like, yeah, he does. I mean, look, if you look in the center cluster, his both his rear paws are yeah. grabbing at the blueberries. Blueberries, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is all mine. 
Right. Except for this one right here. This guy's like, yeah. I got one. <laughs> well, sure. I'm Jeffrey. I'll give you one. <laughs> I got I got one. I could share it with you if you want. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All the beautiful wisteria. Mm -hmm. I love it. The dandelions. Uh, it's just beautiful. I'm very excited. Hooray. <laughs> I can't wait to start growing wisteria. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, so the place that we live at now um, has like this protected wetland area and it's got honeysuckle that grows in the woods. And I'm going to get some of the clips of honeysuckle and take them to the new house and put them in the wetland area there. Do it. Well, honeysuckle is a night blooming plant. And so it smells so delicious in the evenings. It's I had it at the a couple places before this one. Let's see. Who is asking if I if I need a face painter? Um, when, once the applications go online, once I get the Google form done online, you can totally feel free to apply as a face painter. Um, I, that is the answer is yes. So we always need face painters. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping to have it out by. Uh, the application out by next week, but it also sort of depends on how how badly the meds kick my butt uh, before then. So, um, but yeah, that 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 is my that is my plan. I hope to get the poster finished up this week and then stuff out next week. And in between all of that, we have to be packing. We've all Ion and Kamar, who is very sick, and that's why they are not with us tonight, but have already been packing and moving things over um, to, into the new house. So very excited about that. Uh, let's see, where where am I in my agenda that is not imaginary, I promise. <laughs> let's see, did the post reveal? Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, after a huge, enormous, massive debate uh, that occurred on my Facebook, all because I asked a question and I was like, hey, everybody, please don't fight. And then like 130 messages and like comments later um, and lots of people being very angry. Um, I, I found that some artists would, have, would appreciate it. Oh, Jessica Culver. Oh, you have to go to Facebook or I mean, um, streamyard.com slash Facebook. And if you go there and just give StreamYard permissions to see your name from Facebook, it will stop showing up as Facebook user, and then we'll see your name. Uh, StreamYard.com slash Facebook. And there just should be a little thing that you have to click right there on the screen. Um, anyway, I found that artists were wanted first opportunity to do, do any work projects that people find yeah mm, very mm -hmm, yes very snark uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks, Bjorn. laughs> yeah very helpful because <laughs> it never ever happens it's so unusual no. well go ahead and recreate what? the uh the jim kirk meme yeah <laughs> <laughs> Where's my little where's my little present button again? My share screen. There we go. Wow. So this is what we have open for this month for um for artwork that I need. And if it does goes unclaimed by artists, then I will wow. find another way to do it. Uh but the we need three labels. So Mr. B's meadery did the label here for uh, um our red cap punch, which was the new drink that we revealed at the last night market. And then we need a label for Sakura Sunrise and the Ifrit Fire and the Ice Dragon have already been claimed by a couple of patrons. And then the other jobs that I need were say show more. Uh, I need a fairy night market poster for May and a dragon egg hunt hunting map because at the end of the month, this actually kind of rolls into one of the next things, but at the end of the month, we're doing a dragon egg hunt out of Fairy Apothecary at the store, and it's going to be oh. at various other businesses around the neighborhood. And so uh, there's going to be a early, early access post to our Patreon patrons 
to have first access to the map of where the dragon eggs are hidden. I've worked with BB Wolfpack, who is actually one of our vendors in the store, and they have made me five 3D printed dragon eggs that are like this big. And inside of the dragon eggs are 3D printed dragons. And so the first cool. person to find each egg will get to keep the 3D printed dragon that's inside of it. And then there will be a whole bunch of other little swag that goes into them. And that's what we're doing on the very last day of the month, which is Sunday, March 31st. And we're having the dragon egg hunt from noon till 4 p.m. And I'm pretty excited. I'll actually be putting a formal announcement and getting it up on all of the medias here in the next couple of days. But they're, they are very cool. And I just got them last week. So uh I'm, I'm pretty excited first to find gets the cool 3d printed dragons that are and they're all unique they're like surprise dragons so pretty excited about that um and i that's what i need art for so i need to have a map made of the participating businesses um that can go out to the patreon patrons and then i will also that will go public um after the uh basically um, after the thing begins and people can also get maps inside the store and go on a little dragon egg hunt around the neighborhood till everything is found. That's, you know, in case Easter isn't your thing. So <laughs> cool. Right. Uh, I, I just, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little angry though, that Easter has moved itself up into March. Like it just needs to step off the leprechaun month. Okay. I want, I only <laughs> put, like one important holiday. Hey, 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 get back in your own month. Come on. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. What are we going to do? Just holding a spray bottle. Now? <laughs> we have April Fool's Day. The, literally the next day after the 31st, which is also Ion's birthday. Oh, I yes. yes. I almost born on April Fool's Day. It was all part of an elaborate prank. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still playing on the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're actually three leprechauns in a trench in a human suit. Huh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, what what huh. is there to do in April? without oh is there earth day earth day is in april right uh yeah. is it earth day or arbor day earth day, earth day. Oh. second yeah i'm like man there's no there's no holidays at all <laughs> you've, at caught the end of the you've caught up with everybody <laughs> Yeah, it's like right around the corner. No joke. Oh, I guess I guess I could probably just do this. Let's see. And um, my birthday is on the fifth of April. Yeah. Everybody. And so it's Omens. He yeah. shares his birthday with me. Who? Omen. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, but. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, They're all the warnings. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what we need. Four Ion! <laughs> <laughs> no bunny encroachment here. It, it makes me think of all the weird medieval margin art, right? Like I can just see somebody on a snail or something, like, or, you know, rearing up to go fight a bunny rabbit. <laughs> That if someone could draw like Ion on a snail fighting a bunny rabbit in that style, that jousting. would be pretty amazing. Jousting. Yes. Yeah. I don't that know what the bunny amazing. rabbit's gonna ride to joust, but that's not my problem. That's the rabbit's yeah. problem. Yeah, that's yeah, no, that's right. the artist's problem. Yeah. yeah. But please, if there's an artist out there that wants to make this, we appreciate you. <laughs> what if the bunny is on a windmill? Wait, what if the bunny is on a windmill? Oh, like a is, you know, tilting at windmills, right? <laughs> I like that idea. Wow. So yeah, that the that truck that right there. Ion Kyoto. Ion Kyoto. I am Ion Kyoto. <laughs> <laughs> the leprechaun of La Mancha. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of La Mancha. 
<laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's what my brain does. Oh no, Lolly's frozen. No. Trapped forever in the ice. Uh, let's see. Where are we? I'm on the agenda somewhere, you guys. Oh, okay. I the alleged to... agenda. No, it's here. It's real. I wanted to hear from you guys um, <laughs> about the last hedge game and what happened. But kind of big things happened. And then big things happened at the Fairy Night Market. Okay. <laughs> Don't everybody talk at once. I missed the hedge game because I was so tired. A sweepy baby. Um, actually, yes. Who was actually at the last hedge game? I have to apologize. Kamar was. Kamar was. Ion was. Or Winna was. And I'm me was. Yeah. So, we got the blue. So, if you recall, in the city, uh, the Florian very windy city. Was. The stiff Arias. Uh, um. There was some tasks that were yet to be done. Namely, we were to acquire a pillow for the uh, uh, creature from the fountain. And we were supposed to uh, uh, for uh, procure. Right, right. And uh, uh, so that we could procure a gem for the tiara uh, for the poet. And we did do that. Uh, it did require making a deal with the no gardener uh, to supply that gardener with tools. Um, the gnome, you, you, the gnome gardener. Yep. In the Emerald Forest. The gardener gnome, if you will. Gardener gnome. <laughs> uh, so you made a deal with the gardener gnome to get him to procure him some tools. And what was he going to do in exchange for that? Uh, transplant a lily pad that could be used as a pillow for uh, Jenny Green Tea. All right. And how many? So, yes. Oh, no. This is your report to me. So you better make it. You better make your guys sound like you did good, or I'm going to be mad. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, we procured the next uh, that gem. And opening the uh, 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 for the tiara, but we also acquired because we just happened to see a uh, another rune stone for what? Good question. Well, we're we're not entirely sure, but it, it seems like it's for a, a watery gate. But it's a um, watery gate. What was the shape on the glyph stone? I don't remember. I don't have it in my pocket, so I can't reference it. Uh, Kamara has it. Kamara Kamar. has it. Okay. Okay. Now, Kamara is sick. For, furthermore, at the night market, uh, uh, gathered and assembled questers at a, has assembled a terra wand, uh, an earth wand. Yes, I have a picture of that final product. So uh, there was two groups of questers at the night market and one half of the questers had the instructions for how to assemble the wand and the other half of the questers got all of the implements to assemble the wand. Interesting. And then they put together the earth wand basically. So now they're there's the earth wand, the air wand, the fire wand, and the water wand. Ooh. Let me see. I've got a picture. We have them <laughs> all. <laughs> I saw it in person. It's beautiful. Let's see. Let's now, I don't think we know yet the spell to empower the earth wand. Uh, the form of earth. Yeah. Here we go. Here it is. Okay, hold on. They had to get pretty, they had to pretty giddy, uh, all of the words. They just got wanted giddy, to come out yes. They just wanted giddy to come out of whatever. 
like, yeah, thank you. Uh, Where it's, what are they anyway? Where are what? I'm, I'm about to show you the picture of the earth wand. Okay. I'm, look, I'm getting there. Please. Yes, that was mm -hmm. it. So you can't see, I think, in this picture, like at the very tip of it, there's a little crystal. And then at the, the end of it, they had to have a mushroom. And they added the moss in the middle, according to the instructions. And then Ion, you had some, just, some suggestions about how they attach these things, if I recall correctly. Well, I asked a few pointed questions, you see, like um, how the scrolls that gave them the instructions were held together. I asked them that, and that showed them that they had tape that they could use to attach these things to the wand. Um, yeah. but, then, but then we also, uh, that didn't do for the mushroom. So uh, uh, we had recently had a fallen lantern from the night market that uh, meant that there was a broken wire that could be used. And I believe that they used that to attach the mushroom. They did. As a matter of fact, I think you could see it in that picture there. Have you guys found the the gate to the Earth City the, to be unlocked? To have you found that one yet? Because that's Not what that they, I want think of. they unlock the gates to their to their city. So we haven't found Earth, but we've got water and air and fire. So okay. And and. And, and we did recover an, a rune stone, and there's, and there was progress made on the in the uh, the air city, if you will. Yes, so. glorious. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, Lady Ash, how about you? You always deal with uh, interesting people during the fairy night market. Well, I didn't have anybody saying they loved Jesus to test them this month. That was a interesting gentleman. Yeah, it was very interesting. Um, no, we had a. It was kind of a slow night. It was very windy, like extremely windy, and so a lot of people were huddled up in various holes and not roaming the streets to wander into the night market. But I did a pretty brisk business with those who did come down to my bean counter booth. And lots of things were bartered for. I even had people serenade me. What? Yeah. What did, okay, what did they sing? Mm -hmm. um, well, a little girl Please sang a little song I could barely hear, but she did her best. And so I gave her a small handful of draws, which she promptly spent at the cart. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone told me a joke, which I don't remember. It was very cold. It was hard to concentrate on remembering everything. But... Um, Told me a joke which I don't remember. Um, so he earned some draws that way. Um, Winter J, one of our vendors and Patreon members, uh, serenaded me when the speakers went out. I remember them singing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was so beautiful. Um, and then I rewarded them with some draws. They went around to the vendors, asked if they had anything for draws they could buy. Well, I know that uh, that Chronic Bobbles had a trinket trade out on, um, on out on their table, so they could have that could have been a thing. So yeah, I offered for people to do a dance, a joke, or a serenade if they wanted to earn <laughs> some more dross. So and I got a quite kind of few little jigs going. There's a uh, the two little ones who ended up wand dueling. Oh, yeah. They both did dances for me. Would you like some draws, princess? <laughs> Hold on, let me... Free uh, money, no, no, free money, free <laughs> money. <laughs> Shake your money maker. Oh, that is a different kind of dance, and I do not do that dance. I mean, it's after 8.30, you're fine. <laughs> it's not my Isn't your brain your moneymaker? 
So don't shake that too hard. People you're say that. <laughs> I got shaken head syndrome, shaken brain syndrome. <laughs> you know, there's a whole story. There's a whole story now that I feel like I just need to get up and read you this story out of my Tim Burton book, which is called The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Others. And uh, no, wait, is that it? Maybe it's my Angus Oblong book. With uh, yes, it's about a little boy who people throw things at his head. Um, oh, geez. oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Life. Don't Sometimes, Sometimes I do go my cat and call it sick and Mercutio syndrome. I don't know. What do you think? Should I get up and go get this story and read it to you? Because it, it is almost nine o'clock, which means it's almost weird news time. It's actually kind of weird news time now, but I could read you instead the weird Angus Oblong story. Yes, read the story. Okay. Yes. But you guys have Let's to talk amongst the story. Your, okay. You have to talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in a second. So, Ion, should we do something for our nearly identical birthdays? Um, Sure. I, I don't know what, but something. Well, I want blueberry lemon lasagna for my cake. That sounds it's really like good. A, this sounds kind of like a creamy pie I saw on the Book of Faces, and I was like, okay, because someone had asked me what I want for my cake. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I've had like the orange dreamsicle cake before. We've had strawberries with strawberries in the cake and strawberries in the frosting. Wow. And that one's really good, but it's it's a lot. Um, I don't know. I just don't want like a regular frosted cake this year. And I love lemon blueberry. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, that, it, that's lemon yeah. and blueberry go exceptionally well together. Yes. So, uh, well, and, uh, and you've had some of Mama Nita's lemon blueberry cakes before. Yeah, they were they were excellent. Yes, and I mean, they had asked right me time. what I wanted for my birthday, and I think I want the lemon blueberry lasagna. Look you. Nice. No, 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 no. It's there's no. It's just like a layered, like cream kind of pie that's lemon and blueberry flavored. But like golden like, Oreos hey, for the crust. No. That sounds better than actual. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, those things. No, no, there was no, together. there's no noodles or, or pasta sauce in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Definitely no cheese. <laughs> no, I, it's just in the baby bell margaritas here. No, no baby bell margaritas. Uh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> that did make me think of this one cake somebody I saw somebody made. It was basically kind of a layer cake, but what they did was they took um, crepes, like Ooh. dozens of crepes, and they put. I can't remember if they put one cream in each layer or like they alternated it, but it was just so. Imagine a cake made of crepes that stood like about as high as a regular cake and it just <laughs> looked delicious Amanita are you listening I need crepes in my in my blueberry Crick lemon cake. lasagna uh, uh, it sounds delicious I got sent a recipe uh, the other day for lilac lemonade and I really want to try that because that, cool. that sounds delicious yeah yes all right you guys I've got I've got the book are you ready I'm ready. All I'm right. prepared. You're, I'm big in, uh, I, I don't know if you're prepared. Hey, but, but, no, I'm prepared for you to read. I don't know if I'm prepared for the story. I mean, it's just something about people throwing things in people's heads, and that's that's a little disturbing. But, well, the hey, title Phoenix of the book shrinking. is Yes, Creepy it's getting Susie, close to midnight. Creepy Susie and 13 Other Tragic Tales for Troubled Children by Angus <laughs> Oblong. Today's... <laughs> Today's story. <laughs> Good evening, children. Today's story is Little Scooter. Oh, he does have a big head. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's all mouth, though. <laughs> mouth and hair. Okay, <laughs> okay here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. There, um, there was just something about Scooter that made people want to throw things at his head. 
<laughs> that lady is not well mannered. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's got good aim, though. <laughs> to be fair, she's not far from him. Anything they it's, could get their hands, hands on their all day. Babies are throwing things at him. <laughs> um, and I, yeah. No, they threw a baby at him. <laughs> yes. They did. A baby. I dislike you so much. I'm eating my baby at your head. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Even Mrs. Bump. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. After years of this, Scooter was diagnosed with loose brain. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor thought it best that Scooter be put to sleep. The end. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So he wound up with a headstone. <laughs> <laughs> and people threw things at it? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to classify this under uh, superpowers you don't want to have. The compulsion to make people throw things at your head. Right? It's like a little head magnet that just attracts objects, including babies. <laughs> Spang you. What does that mean? To throw a frog violently into the air with a stick. <laughs> with a stick? <laughs> Wow. Don't uh, throw frogs, man. That's I, not nice. How did that word even come to be the word for which it for which definition fits to it? Like I have no idea. I, I mean I don't even like I don't even know where its etymology would trace back to. So Well, you see a kid throwing frogs into the air with a stick and you ask him what Maybe he's that's doing. a sound that's Frog makes when you throw it with a stick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe. All right. Uh, I have to go pick at least one article for the reading tonight. And I kind of want to hear about what's going on out there on your guys' uh, side of things with Miss Musica and everything. Give us some updates. It's been a minute oh, since yes, we heard please. from you all. Oh, Green Wolf. What? Tell us about Mythica. Mythica is a new event we are doing this year in uh, the Scranton area of Pennsylvania. It is a Mythica Fairy Market. Where, when is it? Uh, huh? Ooh. It is on when April is it? 27th. April 27th? April 27th in Scranton, Pennsylvania. How much does it like cost to get in? Scranton. It's too close to other words. Uh, Robert, $10, Professor? I believe that is the cost, yes. That's yes. very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and the performing artists are? Performing artists? Uh, I don't remember. I know there's not going to be any bands at the market, but there are a couple of performing artists. I can't remember the magician, but there is going to be a magician there. Um, there's going to be um, fairies, um, storytellers, um, a dancing unicorn for the kids. And the uh, entire faculty of Peaceful Hollow. Yes. <laughs> we'll be there doing our thing as well. There will be classes. I think that sounds amazing. Yes. Yeah. It's an indoor event, so it'll be nice and air conditioned. Yes. Uh, I believe we have use of the pool for the mermaids. I'm not sure for this one. But like I said, if this one goes well, there will be more at that same venue. Fingers crossed. And it'll probably get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the numbers so far. Fenix, you fall in. You fall in I am slowly name. shrinking. It is, it is, I am like a pumpkin. The closer I get to midnight, the more I revert back to my original form. <laughs> Isn't okay? So the pumpkin is the original form. So you're I no am longer. The pumpkin. That's correct. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You're just slowly <laughs> falling the in on yourself. Is slowly going back to the original. Oh, there I go. See, 
<laughs> like we can't see um, you. Just your ears. No, she's just looking. Oh, at there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, like why am I making weird faces? Is that the you one? were you were completely <laughs> stunned like this? I thought you were frozen. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And no, I'm just uh, looking at uh, looking at articles. Let's see. Oh, I, think yeah. we, I think we did this one. Did we do this one? I don't know. There this, this, these are the two that I've got, though. The first two that I've got. Um, oh, I thought I, well, I didn't. Okay. Article number one. UK thief admits stealing thousands of chocolate Easter eggs versus new Loch Ness search finds underground cave system that could be the monster's perfect layer. That one. Ooh, yeah, Loch Ness. Well, it's the audience that has to vote. Ion, do you have the timer? Please start it. All right. So no one said anything. I can't exert undue influence on the audience. What? That's right. We can suggest to them that why they well, need to choose well, yeah. option audience number two. Members. <laughs> If you we want to really hear about a thief that stole thousands of chocolate eggs, press number one. If you want to hear about possible caverns underwater that could be the layer of the Loch Ness Monster, wow, Loch Ness Monster layer, press number two. And then Loch Ness Loch Ness no, you guys are tiebreakers. You don't get to vote. <laughs> Audi- a time. I'm not Audi- voting. Num- I'm influencing. Oh, you're influencing. We're oh, yeah. you're an influencer now. Okay. It's, we're Dear all here on social media. That's right. <laughs> Dear audience members. I'm exerting you- undue influence. <laughs> Dear audience members, if you too hate diabetes, vote for number two. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of chocolate eggs is, is a few too many. Put some back. Your choices are number two or one number get two. Of chocolate eggs. Like, what? Which could you imagine if all those were like the Cadbury cream egg or the Cadbury no, caramel eggs? I don't like no. Cadbury eggs. I, I don't like the cream ones. I love the caramel ones. I like yeah, the same yes. caramel ones. Mm-hmm. Time's up. Oh, time's up. Time is caramel up. ones are definitely super delicious. Oh, eating a jelly bean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a jelly bean. <laughs> Okay, uh, time's up. It looks like oh, two is definitely the winner. Okay, zero See? vote is number one. Okay, it's wow. like I can predict the future. Your <laughs> your influence knows no bounds. Uh, <laughs> societal influence. Well, obviously, she looked into the void and saw the caves. The All right, here we are. Lock Ness. New Loch Ness search finds underground cave system that could be monsters' perfect lair. A fresh search at Loch Ness has uncovered an underground cave system, which could be a perfect lair for the monster. The caves have multiple entrances and include flooded underground passages and is situated adjacent to the Loch Shore and linked by just 100 meters of river. The expedition organized by TikTok's Loch Ness monster official. Okay, wait. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go to TikTok and see what TikTok's. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'll finish reading this first. But I'm like, what? There's an official Loch Ness thing for. Copy it. No. Um, okay. Uh, was planned a number of months ago, but took place this week. What's the date on this? August twenty, the twenty third of August, twenty twenty three. Okay, it was led by Paige Daly, who runs the TikTok official Loch Ness channel, which has over 15,000 followers and millions of views on videos about Nessie. Mrs. Daly said, the subject of the Loch Ness monster has global appeal because Nessie is so cute. Uh, I had been asked by Nessie followers if there were caves at Loch Ness, and through subsequent research, I found that subterranean caverns had been mentioned in the past. So we decided to add a search to a pre-planned visit to the lock. Mrs. Daly, 29, who was brought up near Loch Ness, but now lives in Colchester, Essex, was in the area. Is that Colchester or Colchester? Ooh, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, was in the area for a couple of weeks filming her TikTok community, for her TikTok community. Newly discovered caves, which lead in and out of Loch Ness. Ooh. 
She took local advice on the likely locations of caves and with the help of a trained guide and a drone pilot, finally located the underground system this week. Having spent my childhood near Loch Ness, I was always fascinated by Ness's story, she said. When the chance came to see if the caves were real, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. However, it is not at all obvious where the caves are as they are well hidden by undergrowth and quite extensive forestation. I was really hoping to find at least one cave at the site, and from that might conclude if there are caves above, lock, uh, above the lock water level. Maybe there would be more underwater at the same shore. She was surprised to find that there is an entire cave system which is linked to the lock by a short stretch of river. There were multiple entrances, and it was clear that these were linked up to each other within the hillside. Sorry, I have a cat approaching. I'm like, what's that noise? I'm reading mm -hmm. about Loch Ness Monster. Now I'm all scared. What's that noise? Uh, let's see. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what also became apparent was that pools in the river were also linked to almost bottomless caverns, again connected to the caves above ground. There was no apparent sign of life in the caves, but then again, it was just a black watery abyss close to the lock. The expedition was planned a number of months ago, but took place this week. Let's see. Okay. Gary Campbell, the keeper of the Register of Sightings at Loch Ness, said, this is really exciting news. Local folk have spoken of caves for hundreds of years, but it was never clear where they might be, and more importantly, if they were connected to the lock. Also, as it is now clear that they are in a remote, uninhabited area, which is virtually inaccessible, if Nessie did need a hiding place, this would be the perfect location. In terms of backup for such caves being Nessie's lair and whether Nessie might make the journey upriver or over the rocks to the cave system, there have been written reports recorded since 1879. Oh, whoa, I didn't know this, of Nessie being seen on land. In 1933, oh. yeah, I didn't know that. I've never the, heard that before. On the same shore of the lock, a Mr. and Mrs. What is Nessie and the. Uh, never mind. Nessie and what? Nessie and what? Oh, I was just thinking that uh, uh, what if uh, uh, Nessie was, uh, uh, other than I was trying to remember Jack the Ripper. Um, anyway, what if Jack the Ripper and Nessie are the same person? What? I remember that movie. That was a very tongue in cheek film. Oh, wait. <laughs> there, there was a movie where one, it was kind of made up like one of those. Uh, history mystery films but it was all snippets and one of them was yeah. what if the theory of what if the Loch Ness monster was actually Jack the Ripper that's how ridiculous some of them were so. <laughs> so, okay with like Velocipaster yes <laughs> hey, <don't laughs> Velocipaster it improves upon repeated viewing <laughs> um, in 1933, on the same shore of the lock, a Mr. and Mrs. Spicer had a famous sighting of a Nessie-like creature, shouldn't Nessie-like be hyphenated, crossing the road in front of their car, in front of their car, and only a few years ago, a tourist also reported seeing a similar creature on the beach. So it is possible that this really is where Nessie goes to hide. Huh. It's like a pleosaurus thing, just like, plop, 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 like crossing the road on its little paddle slipper feet. But like Nessie, the caves may prove hard to spot. We've decided to keep the actual location a secret, said Mrs. Daly. This is because access is very difficult and without the proper knowledge could be quite dangerous. Of course, we also don't want Nessie and her family to be disturbed if, in fact, they are living there. This coming weekend also sees the biggest organized Nessie hunt in the last 50 years taking place at various locations around the lock. Loch Ness Center has partnered with Loch Ness Exploration, an independent and voluntary research team to scour the waters for Nessie starting this Saturday. Scientists and volunteers will scan the waters in the biggest search since the Loch Ness Investigation Bureau just, uh, studied the lock back in 1972. The plan is to combine new technology to scan and listen to underwater signals from Nessie while volunteers watch the surface of the water to spot any monster moves. The Loch Ness Center wants to solve the age-old mystery once and for all, but if Nessie is not found, 
they hope to at least inspire a new generation of monster hunters to carry on the search. Drones using infrared cameras will capture thermal images from the water, and a hydrophone will detect acoustic signals, such as Nessie-like calls from under the... How do they even know that Nessie does calls? Maybe she's um, mute. Yeah, I mean, how do they know? So how would they know what a Nessie call sounds like? It's true. It probably depends upon what type of service she uses. <laughs> Yeah, is she Verizon or Can you hear me now? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gutted that. Well, I we know Nessie doesn't do right. FaceTime. Yeah, no <laughs> FaceTime calls. <laughs> Tell your mom to top off my card so I can FaceTime her. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was just channeling. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gutted that I can't stay for it, as we'd organized our visit long before the hunt was announced. Said Mrs. Daly. But I just hope that the discovery of the caves gives extra hope of success to those who are searching this weekend. Loch Ness is 23 miles long and up to 889 feet deep, with more water in it than all the lakes and reservoirs in England and Wales combined. According to Google, there are around 200,000 searches each month for the Loch Ness Monster and around 120,000 for information and accommodation close to Loch Ness. The monster mystery is said to be worth $30 million to the region. Pounds, 30 million pounds to the region. Irish, mis words. Irish missionary St. Columba is the first said to have encountered the beast in the River Ness in 565 AD. The official register is now law has now logged 1,158 sightings from records and other evidence stretching back through, through the centuries. There have been three sightings so far this year of the Loch Ness Monster. The last, on June 15th, Nessie was photographed by a French tourist. Pharmacist Etienne Camel from, from Lyon said he and his wife, Elaine, Eliane, Eliane, uh, were baffled by what they saw, but there's no links to their picture. What? Okay. Uh, Loch Ness, Odo, and Etienne Camel. Like, what, why would you put that in there and then not hyperlink it? What cruelty? Oh. Well, there's pictures of a man with no shirt. Okay. Um, <laughs> Loch Ness tourist spots huge dark shape in waters. Let's see. Oh, my. oh, there it is. Okay. Share this tab. Here we go. So mm. this is the referencing article oh, wait, can I close this one? I don't know, it's like some dumb ad but this is the picture i guess wow oh, there's a lot of clouds in the sky in this picture so maybe um <clears throat> maybe it's just is that it's right? a large dark shape <laughs> It is a large dark shape, but when there's a, if you look at the hillside, look at the cloud shadows on the hillside. Maybe it's just a cloud shadow. Because look at all the clouds in the sky. And then maybe Nessie the is cloud bathing. <laughs> I think that shadow. All right, let's see here. We're going to go look at the TikToks. Let's see. Loch Ness Monster caught on camera in 2020. Loch Ness Monster caught on camera in 2023. The 4th of July. There it is. The 31st of May. The 17th of August. The 27th of August. That looks like a boat. The 5th of April. Dang. The My third birthday. Hmm. Interesting. Make sure to comment your favorite. Let's see. Mm. Behind me is what the Loch Ness Monster could actually be eating. Monster Munch? Not this kind of Monster Munch, but this kind could be what the Loch Ness Monster eats. However, with the great mystery of the Loch Ness Monster, we're not always entirely sure. Hmm. Loch Ness Monster has been seen again. Loch Ness... Nope. Uh. Let's see. Is... Many people have asked me, is this the Loch Ness Monster? And I'm going to tell you my two pence. This is the official Loch Ness Monster fan club. We believe in the Loch Ness Monster. And behind me here is a 240 million year old 
dragon. Some sign. <laughs> dragon. Okay. <laughs> a dragon. This is my favorite photo. Could the Loch Ness Monster live in a cave? Yes, the Loch Ness Monster has actually been seen crossing the road into Loch Ness. And this behind me is one of the creepy pictures from the Loch Ness Monster last week with the colors changed showing some weird eyes. I mean, what does everyone think that is to begin with? A giant weird a gator. man. A gator. <laughs> a gator. For real reason, no video footage of the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Gator. Yes. Until now. People Isn't that quite the same thing? Right? For over a thousand years now, and no one could seem to find the beast, let alone get video footage of it. However, that was until Marcus Richard found the real it. That was weird. I don't know. Spookiest sighting of the Loch Ness Monster. I want to watch all of these because I love the Loch Ness Monster, but I don't. I don't know that really. I should. Hi. <laughs> Rabbit hole. Hey, now we can see your name. All right, giant Welsh catfish. Let's see. Okay, you guys talk amongst yourselves. Oh wait, dang you! That, that's right, the flog flipping, frog flipping. <laughs> the flinging. <laughs> frog flinging. One, one of those things that you do with frogs, yeah. Yes. I'm flung frogs. I I don't think I've ever flung a frog. I haven't. I wouldn't. So what's this? They've used fossils to 3D print vocal what? Really? Mm -hmm. Vocal organs of T Rex to see what they sound like. I don't they sound like funky like chickens? So basically, like the T Rex, <laughs> like the Mike Tyson of the dinosaur world. Yes. <laughs> Probably. Yes. That's a mean joke for me to make. But... Well, because <laughs> T Rex is the theropod form, much like modern birds. And so chickens would be very closely related. So. Ostrich. Oh my God. Uh, uh, but the, the their yeah their sound isn't the is rel yeah is relatively high pitched based on the holes in their skulls. So okay, I I'm gonna interrupt my news reading here because I saw one of the articles from last week, which was Diner divides opinion after putting banana on a pizza, and uh, it made me think of a post that I put into the hedge. I think it was either it was earlier today or yesterday. I can't. Uh, I think it was. I remember. Today that, and here's what I want to know: Is this a thing that we have that we should have um, at at one of our events for everybody to eat? So the answers are one yes for one or one for yes and two for no. If you think that we should have this at an event to eat, are you guys ready? Real quick yep. question. Yeah. Can I say yes, we should have it, but no, I don't want to eat it? Of course. <laughs> that, okay. There you go. Yep. That's I agree with cool, that. Well, okay. it's, it, no. Here it is. Well, to be completely honest, it's it's basically just a PB&J with banana, but it's in a hot dog bun. That's right. It's a, it yeah, it it's is. A, that's exactly what it is, but I don't like bananas. Except in banana bread. Well, that's okay. That's perfectly cool. Well, what mm -hmm. if it was a PB&J Hear me out. PB and J made with banana bread. I would try a bite I, of it. I don't know how I feel about that. Banana now, bread PB and J. What? Nutella go on it, and I was like, "Ooh, if you put Nutella, then you should put like dolce de leche or yeah, honey or something on the other side." With the I suggested marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow. We fluff. could have like a little buffet mm. of uh, fixings for these things. The the hot dog people can make their own. Day. Banana abomination <laughs> buns. These are an abomination. A bomba banana. <laughs> it's <laughs> just a sandwich a in a different banana delivery. Nation. A bomba <laughs> banana <laughs> nation. <laughs> banana nation. I mean, actually, I think a lot of people would try it just because it has a peel. Oh no! <laughs> In fact, I would try a bunch. <laughs> I'm gonna end up starving. I I would add bacon to this. You what? Are you gross for <laughs> real? Who said you, that? That was Ion. No, no, Ion. Bad. <laughs> no. Ion, what about first of all? <laughs> 
lemon what about, lasagna for you. What about bacon <laughs> jelly? Ew. No. Bacon jelly. Nothing bacon with banana. Bacon. Yeah, nothing bacon it's, it's, with it's banana. A, it's a reference to Elvis Presley. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had some weird tastes for food. His favorite sandwich was peanut butter, jelly, banana, and bacon. Yes. And I had to be grilled. The other well, thing, there was more than one good. thing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. That other was definitely thing, one of them. That was just one the other, of them. <laughs> yeah. The other thing, which my friend found this out because apparently the Elvis World Fan Club puts a fact about him once each year on his birthday. And my friend found out one of the things he liked to do in case he felt peckish was in every room of the house, he would just kind of have a bowl of crumbled burnt bacon near the doorway to each room so he'd have something to snack on when he comes in. I owe like, to be that incredibly rich. That you just have side man. table bacon. Yeah. Holy I have secret bed water. How, how rich are you, you? I'm side table bacon rich. <laughs> well, I if also if you think it, it specifically was burnt crumbled bacon. And my only thought is like, what the hell was his sodium levels when he finally died? Was the man like mostly heart attack? Probably he's getting excited, therefore it must have been a preservative. So I like matcha Kit Kats, but what? Oh, oh! I have a present from from, from Sir Boy Vode. What? Oh yeah, oh. that's right. Yeah, I have your get package, it? but I did. But it's in the Land of Dragon. Oh no! Oh. Next week, I'll oh, open no. it. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Bless My you. goodness. That's right up on me. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. Uh, there was, okay. you guys there was something that I prepared. wanted. Oh, go ahead. Just salt. Okay. There was something I, I've had for a while, but after we saw the artwork of the Albert uh, through one of the artists, I'm actually surprised I hadn't shown this before. But I got this through a Kickstarter a while back. What? Yeah. Oh, oh. yes. He's a baby. It's a. Oh, it's a owlbear cub, and this is like his their little container they sit in. But that's not the cool. That's not the really cool part. Well, actually, he is really cool. So, but uh, they sent with it accessories for him. So I'm gonna put you right there, buddy. Nope. This is like a little cape is he can put cape? on himself. Oh, super. yes. Dupa Albert. Oh Dupa my Dupa. goodness. That's awesome. It's an Albert. Um, he's also they also gave him like a bow a tie. Bow tie. Bow. But he's very dapper. <laughs> that's what he is. But the other really, really cool thing is <clears throat> was I'm gonna take the thing off here. They they gave him a little uh -huh. fish. Oh, that trout. Watch. Oh, that's the best. No, it doesn't work. Oh, no, it does. Yay. Oh, no. oh, oh, that's so cute. Yes. <laughs> I have there's a mag dice bag. Yeah, there's a magnet in the fish, and there's a, another magnet on the inside. So it holds up. So it looks like he's got like. He's got his lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. They did. They did regular owlbear coloration, and this one's like the uh, snow snowy owlbear one. And That's horrible. What's I've seen name? them in a couple. Of, I haven't named them yet, but I've seen them actually released in stores now. Uh, they the Kickstarter was like I think about a couple of years ago, and he's just been sitting on my shelf. And the other one I gave to a friend, and that's when we discovered the fish had a magnet. So it's like oh. It looks so freaking cool. That's awesome. <laughs> it is. So, but the Albert picture we saw earlier that was that reminded me. Oh yeah, I have this. Everybody would love him. I do love it. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got a. I've got some articles. 
Let's see. I do apologize. Um, I have to run away before I pumpkin, and oh I have God, to go do my job things. Oh, my it's I didn't realize. Okay. That actually, I'm glad you said something. I didn't even realize the time. I got all caught up in reading these articles. Um, okay. Well, then I guess, actually, Phoenix, you you have signaled the end of the show then tonight because... Well, then I won't leave. I'll just wait till the end. <laughs> just wait till the end. Okay. So... But, uh, <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. Please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, ring the bell if you would like to get notifications of the future shows. And we will hopefully be back next Wednesday as we are moving houses. It's going to require, um, we are looking to get like most big things uh, moved in over the weekend and set up. Uh, but it does, of course, require getting the interwebs into the new place and making sure that all of the Wi-Fis and whatnot are working. So we're going to gonna aim to be here next week but also who knows there could be maybe there could be technical <laughs> difficulties so i will of course keep Shit may be updated. crazy yeah I, mean, I will of course keep everybody updated on the uh on the community tab here on youtube and then also in discord and the head from discord um and then i guess uh, with that said thank you all for tuning in tonight and hope yes we will Hopefully see you next week and um, have a good one, everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Lovely night, everyone. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fae Productions. We hope you enjoyed our show with your host, Fairy Princess Ollie. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you had fun with our Fae crew. Don't forget to click that little bell icon to get notifications of upcoming shows. And if you're looking to support your fellow Fae, fly on over to our Patreon. Link